Hey guys, welcome back to Two Aussie Thrifters. Every month we like to share with you some of the bolo items that have been selling out of our eBay store that we are currently looking out for. But today we're doing a worldwide bolo list. So we've enlisted some help from some friends overseas and locally to bring you the best bolo list in the world. Let's go. Welcome to the Commonwealth Cabin. I often tell people you better pick where you live or you're going to end up with nothing at all. So out here in the sticks in the Commonwealth of Virginia, we find Tupperware, we find purple ab rollers and super shooters, and we find this guy right here, the Fleet Inn Man. Here's a local bolo for you. Hey guys, I'm Lindsay. This is my husband Ryan and we go by Rinzi. We're full-time shoe resellers from the United States and we're super excited to be a part of this worldwide bolo list and ours is L.L. Bean. Keep an eye out for L.L. Bean. It's an international brand. We sell men's, women's, and kids' L.L. Bean. They do shoes and boots. More specifically, we've made thousands and thousands of dollars with the boots. If you see a gray insole, that's good. If you see a yellow insole, that's even better. Or if it's shearling lined or Gore-Tex, it's the best. Keep an eye out for L.L. Bean. Hi, my name is Eric. I run the College Picker YouTube channel, make videos about tech, thrifting, DIY, fixing things, hardware installation, software tutorials, for troubleshooting. It's a big mix of videos and playlists to help to organize all of the content. But I'm here to tell you about an international bolo brand, Lucchese Boots. Lucchese Boots have an amazing history coming out of San Antonio, Texas. You're more likely to find them in a cowboy culture state such as Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, Utah. Good luck everybody on the hunt for Lucchese Boots and have fun in your travels. Welcome to Pierce Podcast. I'm Mike. And this is Orlando. And we are so thrilled to be able to be part of this compilation video where we're going to show you a couple of bolos. And thank you to two Aussie thrifters for inviting us to this opportunity. So we have two bolos that we're going to share. And Mike's going to start us off with this pretty awesome bolo that sells pretty quick. Yeah. So uh, a lot of times you see old camera equipment and uh, specifically camcorders. And you might think there's no money in that. Like, my phones record all of that stuff. Uh, who needs who needs old equipment? But you will be surprised at how much old, especially uh, the mini DVD or the mini DV recorders, they sell quickly. Especially the Sony brand. So this is a Sony CCR something. Yeah, digital handycam. You know when you see it, right? Like these were these were great. Like. 10, 15 years ago. I, I paid like $600 for one of those. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember I remember having one of these and I thought I was the coolest guy in the world. But you'd be surprised at the mini DV, even the mini uh, tape ones. They still sell really, really well. This was picked up for $25 and it's going to go for probably about $180. And you can sell them for parts even. Yeah. We and almost always list them as um, tested, but for parts only or turns on parts only. And they still will sell really, really high. Correct. And one more thing, make sure you check if it has night vision. If it has night vision, Ooh. probably going to get a little bit more money on That's that. Right. So Sony is the key, uh, but even other brands will do well. I've, I've just picked up a Panasonic uh, old VHS uh, recorder and that one too is going to sell for about 130 bucks. So keep an eye out. Hawkins Amusement Rides was a company that operated in central New York for 54 years. They would bring their rides to different county fairs, church carnivals, and fireman field days and they would create souvenirs that were customized to the event they were at, such as this fire hydrant based super gusher that you would fill with water and carry around with you throughout the day. They went out of business in 2017, something like this. I would list on eBay for about $50. Yo, what's going on, guys? This is Joey Bada Bing 22, your local mailman. And in today's bolo is a yo, Nerf guns. Guys, not this specific Nerf gun, but I've sold a rival Nerf gun for boop, a hundred and like $19, guys. I found this in the garbage. Um, Nerf guns are big bolos in the United States. Keep an eye out for these bolos. And shout out to the two Aussie thrifters. I love you guys. What is happening, folks? My name is Nick. I'm a part-time reseller, and I have a YouTube channel called Hunting with Tripler. I tailor a lot of the buying that I do around nostalgia just because, number one, it sells really well. 
and it makes up a huge percentage of buyers on a platform like eBay. Right now, eBay has over a billion active listings and 60% of the buyers are between ages 36 and 60. So I think about things like that when I'm looking for items to sell. I could sit here and give you bolos by individual category. I could sit here and give you individual items, but I think I'm gonna be a little more ambiguous than that. Buy things that you already know things about, and I'll bet you, you're gonna do pretty well selling that. Hi, I'm Tiffany. And I'm Hugo. We're Sell Quick, Ship Quick on Instagram. And YouTube and uh, most other places. And we're from Los Angeles, California. And bolo for us would be women's clothing. So there's an abundance of women's clothing around us. So if you're in LA. And sometimes if you can't read the tag or if the tag's been cut off and by that the brand tag that's on the neck, uh, what we do is we'll look at the care tag on the inside and search up that RN number and that will tell us where the brand is from. Yeah, so keep an eye out. All right, so now let's go to clothing a little bit. So you you might be surprised, and I don't know what part of the world you're in if you're going to be able to find these. If you do, it's probably going to be worth more. But I sell this stuff internationally, globally, all the time, whether it's in the States, sometimes to the Scandinavian countries, sometimes to Australia, all over the world. So vintage Carhartt jacket. So I'm trying to get this on here and show everybody. So if you take a look, right, this is Carhartt. You can tell by the tag let's see if i can show the tag on the camera maybe you can see it maybe you can't but you can always look this up on google and so here's the thing you look at this right it looks a little worn that's okay it's still gonna sell for money even with paint splatter in the back you're still going to make money on that jacket so again you're looking for car let me see if i can get the pocket this is interesting doing this as a podcast there you go okay so carhartt jacket the odd colors like green blue maybe you get a different color you can still make money so keep an eye out for vintage carhartt jackets hopefully yeah. you found this helpful and as always make sure to keep it real relevant and reselling leads peace what is up you guys this is chris aka thrift bcq and I'm gonna share with you one item I think that sells pretty well here in Canada. I'm up here in Toronto. Now, a lot of the things that I do sell personally do pretty much just as good in the US. So uh, one thing I do know that sells quite a bit over here though is hockey jerseys. So if you find like vintage ones uh, with the uh, old players that are like CCM branded, Nike branded, uh, Reebok, uh, those tend to do fairly well here in Canada. So look out for those. Hi, Nick Hills here. Okay, for my bolo, it's a little bit obscure, but we're talking vintage deodorants and aftershaves. In particular, a brand called Lynx, which is hugely popular here in the UK. There's actually a video on my channel, search Nick Hills Lynx, and I go into it in detail. People collect vintage scents, deodorants, aftershaves, all of that stuff. Yeah, and the prices, it will blow your mind, so check it out. Hi everyone, we're Global Thrifters. My name's Jack. And I'm Emily. And together we're a full-time reseller couple here in the UK. So today we're going to be talking about our bolos. So I've picked Polly Pockets. Polly Pockets sell very well, especially from the 80s or 90s, especially with the mini figures. So you don't often see them, so they're definitely one to look out for. Definitely. And mine is fishing reels, or vintage fishing, fishing reels, vintage fishing equipment. Now I did pick up once, one for a couple of pounds and sold it for 1200 to a guy in Sweden. But if you've watched our channel, you would have heard of that before. Cheers guys. Hi, my name's Garboot Chris and my channel is Cookie and the Hayden, so don't forget to sub. Anyway, my bolo for you guys is something that we're always looking for here in the UK. And that's this little fella, this plush. He's called Flat Eric. He's from the 90s Levi's advert. And he came with a really cool tune as well that hit the top of the charts. But yeah, I found a few of these. They still go for good money and you can pick them up for peanuts. Most people tend to think that they're worthless. They're just an old plush. That's it, guys. See you later. Hey there, guys. My name's Mitchell and this is my lovely wife, Erin. And we are the Retro Rescuers, and we've been asked to talk about a bolo of ours. So what have you got here, baby? I have a anime plushie, a Naruto anime plushie. 
mushy. Yes, it doesn't have to be Naruto, it can be any anime, as long as it is official, you will get a good turnaround on this one. How much did we pay for this? Uh, $4. $4, and we sold it last night for $130. So be on the lookout for your anime plushies. Hey guys, Samson here from the Samson TV YouTube channel. I'm a full-time eBay seller based in Sydney, Australia. My bolo brand to resell on eBay is Rod and Gun. This is a New Zealand based brand that sell really high quality polo shirts, button ups and also chino pants. The shirts sell for around $100 new in their stores and you can resell them on eBay for between $25 to $40. Like most men's clothing brands, the more expensive items from Rod & Gun or the ones that will have a better resale value are the items that are more exotic or unusual in terms of the material they're made out of or the colour or the design etc. So make sure to look out for this brand. Hey guys, Craig here from Two Happy Gamers to talk to you today about video game bolos. We are going to focus on the PlayStation Vita. Sony no longer support the Vita and it did not sell very well. The units themselves and the games are scarce, but it does have a cult following. Furthermore, Sony no longer support the digital storefronts for the PSP, PlayStation 3 or the Vita. Meaning, if you want to play the Vita or any of these games, the only way to do so is to obtain a physical copy. So, the, these games and this console will go up in value quite quickly from this year forward. So if you're out in the hunt, you spot some PSP, look it up. Especially the console, the first model OLED model goes for quite a bit of money. So, make sure if you find some Vita, look that up. Hey guys, at Flip in Sydney here and I uh, just wanted to give you one of my bolos really quickly and that is Warhammer books. So could choose a whole bunch of different things, but uh, just lately I've sold a bunch of these um, novels and uh, you can generally pick them up pretty quickly and they sell really well and you can get decent money for them. So that would be one of the things I would say look out for. What's going on, Coco? My name is Judder and my channel is Diary of a Flipper and I'm about to hit you lace out on the tit with a bolo. If you're familiar with me, I'm a full-time reseller and I started this reselling gig from a passion for vintage sporting memorabilia and just memorabilia in general, which then has now expanded into so many different things. And today I'm gonna start crapping on about my roots again, and that is Aussie Rules Footy. Now, some people get confused about reproductions and vintage and fakes. There is fakes, you've got to be careful, but we are talking pure vintage here, and the logos you want to look out for, I'm going to put them right here that you can screenshot and familiarize yourself with them because there's not too many, which is an absolute bonus. The way you pinpoint years is actually by the sponsorship and the design of the jumper itself. The brand we're talking about today is actually Seekum. So if you are over in the States or the UK or wherever in the world you are, and you do spot an Aussie Rules jumper with Seekum on it from the 90s with this beautiful logo here. I want you to look out for them. Um, there's a ripper there. Look, we've got another one here on queue. I found this today. Four bucks, four bangers in a lovely little Vinnie's there. So they are 100% acrylic jumpers, these ones. But we all run with polyester now. 100% the AFL is polyester jumpers. But... Look, back then, in the later 90s, they also had polyester. Even the mid-90s, there were some designs made in the polyester. Even the rubbish teams, like the Adelaide Crow Cell. I've sold this exact Guernsey for $150. So you're strolling in an op shop, and you see a little old lady going for the Seekum on the end of the rack. You give her the big poof. You tuck that Seekum under your arm, and you go sprinting down like Jason Johannesson on the 2016 Grand Final, all the way to the counter. Take it home, because Seekum will get you good money. What an awesome bunch of bolos. Thank you everyone who got involved. Before we get into our bolo, there will be a part two of this video. So tag some people below that you want to see in part two and uh, let's keep this bolo video rolling. <laughs> so our bolo is an Australian icon. We love selling this brand and you guys probably already know before we even say it. RM Williams. Now today we're going to talk specifically about boots because these things go for really good money. So we picked these up from op shops for even up to sort of 50 to 60 bucks because we know that they're going to sell for well over 100 bucks. So even some damaged um, styles we've been able to sell for really good money before. Yeah, and that's because people get them resold, they take them to the cobbler because these are such good quality. So keep your eye out for Aaron Williams. I know that there are some in the States because they're starting to get over there. 
So definitely a bolo brand from Australia. Thanks everyone for watching and stay tuned for part two of the world's greatest bolo list. See you later.